Reflecting Christ, December 19th, watch and give Jesus your burden. Luke 21, verse 36, watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. In the solemn language of the scripture, a duty is pointed out which lies in the daily pathway of everyone, whether old or young. This is the duty of watchfulness. And upon our faithfulness here, our destiny for time and for eternity depends. How many there are whose hearts are today aching under their load of care and who are thinking, oh, if there were only someone to help me bear my burdens. Well, there is someone to help you bear your burdens. There is rest for you who are heavy laden. Jesus. The great burden bearer invites, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Here is the promise of the master, but it is on condition. Take my yoke upon you, he says, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is for my yoke is grievous. Is that what he says? No, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The burden you are carrying, which is so heavy, and which causes such weariness and perplexity is your own burden. You desire to meet the world standard and in your eager efforts to gratify ambitions and worldly desires, you wound your consciences and thus bring upon yourselves the additional burden of remorse. When you do not want to be distinct from the world, but desire to mix up with it so that no difference is seen between you and the world, then you may know that you are drunken with the cares of this life. Oh, there are so many selfish interests so many cords to bind us to this world, but we must keep cutting these cords and be in a condition of waiting for our Lord. The world has forced itself in between our souls and God, but what right have we to allow our hearts to become overcharged with the cares of this life? What right have we through our devotion to the world to neglect the affairs of the church and the interests of our fellow men? Why should we manufacture for ourselves burdens and cares that Christ has not laid upon us? Watch ye therefore and pray always. There is great need of watchfulness, not for our own sakes only, but also for the sake of our influence upon others. Our influence is far reaching. We should so speak and so walk that the spirit of God may be in our hearts and his blessing in our homes. I hope you had a great day today. Reflect Christ.